Okay, we're going to talk about uh, a line of restraint and a line of confrontation. So, line of confrontation is going to be, say it's this line right here, we'll call it just maybe about seven, eight yards over half field. And I'll draw that line right there. So that is our line of confrontation. So when we, when the other team has the ball and say they work it out out of the back from a goal kick or something, we are going to be preset drop to this line. So we're not going to be extended over this line. And this is the line of restraint. You have to figure it out, you know, what's a good space to keep the team compact. So if this is the line of confrontation, maybe the line of restraint will be somewhere in here. The line of restraint here, you also have to say to yourself, how fast are the other team's forwards? How fast are the wingers? How fast are we? If we push up and make the field too compact, simple ball over the top becomes a foot race and we're finished. So the line of restraint is not something that is always exactly predetermined. That's kind of determined by your personnel and their personnel. So maybe you drop another seven yards and it makes life a lot easier. Maybe you drop them both, you gotta decide. Now, line of confrontation, line of restraint. I also like to have pressing zones. So our pressing zones are maybe a zone right here, maybe a zone here, and maybe a zone out wide. And what we know is when their center back has the ball, there's their other center back, and they're going to play the ball into their wing back. So the center back has the ball. Our forward will push this center back to play this way. At the same time, our winger, as this ball is in flight, the winger will close very quickly in here. We will have a center midfielder also closing here. He will step in front of the center back. Now you're talking about there is no outlet back. He's under extreme pressure, this wing back with his head down can't come forward. This midfielder is coming in strong. At this point, our other forward, we're anticipating a turnover in this area. Our other forward will probably make a penetrating run. If we get a turnover, boom, straight away, we look to counter. One ball in, forward goes. Should be, should be a good counter attack right there. And that's a pressing area. So, Center backs, we force, if we force them this direction again, this center back has the ball, we force them to play here. Our winger shuts down there, center back, our forward shuts down a back pass, right? The other forward can stay high and look to counter. Sometimes you could have them come in if you want to play more conservative to help in the midfield, but if you leave them high, it's immediate counter opportunity, right? Again, another midfielder comes in and shuts off anything coming in here. And these are trapping zones. So today we went over line of confrontation, line of restraint. Now the one thing that I will say is that the line of confrontation should not be taken so literally. And when I say that, I'll show you this really quick, is if we establish a line of confrontation, if the other team's wing back is here, center back, center back, we don't stop at the line. Two to three players will go and cross that line, right? Our forwards will cross that line. The forward will always cross this line to force this ball in. Even our center mid can cross that line. So now you're talking about one, two, three players crossing the line of confrontation, but the bulk of the team is behind the line of confrontation. You're going in threes, could go in twos to press the center backs. You could have different strategies that, to press. Maybe it's two forwards pressing both center backs. Maybe it's one forward pressing, one forward dropping. Maybe one forward pressing the ball in here as the other forward is high looking for the counterattack. You never know. Again, you could come up with your own strategies. This is kind of what I like to do. But the one thing to guard against is you tell your, your team, hey, this is a line of uh, confrontation. They can cross it. Make sure that they know in groups of two and three, they can cross that line to create um, pressure. Thanks for tuning in. As always, check out my blog, CoachDiBernardo.com. 
Also, other YouTube stations, Marcus DiBernardo, that's for all my training sessions, weekly soccer rant for a little sarcastic humor, my soccer instructional books at Amazon.com. Just look under my Author Central page under Marcus DiBernardo, my Cognitive Soccer Online Coaching Diploma course at SoccerSmartTraining.com, and also you can contact me through email at CoachDiBernardo at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.